uh, my name is Noni Mate, um, and our guest is Manza. Uh, hi, Manza. Hi, Njansi. Siapi, Njansi. Siapi. I can't hear you. I'm going to go to Ubenati, Namthanj, a good look up conversations. Thank you for having me. It's a great pleasure. Uh, thank you so much. Um, I, I know your story from what we've shared, and uh, if, you know, and we are, we are also friends. We're also in recovery together. But I, I just want to you to just briefly tell me how did you start uh, using mind altering substances, or how did you start using drugs? How did it start? Okay, so yes, with me, no, because I want to buy tea. They were under a lot of pressure, or maybe it's their upbringing that propelled them to use it. And 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 in Yenga Kalo, I'm going to put to one they had every reason to use. You would hear people saying I was abused, I was molested, you know, and lean and that and they led me to other tracks. With me, it's different. I mean, I come from a Christian family home, and as Mama and Baba Bapuz, they want to be son, you um, so I never had any difficulties. They tried their level best to me say colony variety and I can't remember yes colony as young and among a pitang in my lunchbox or my pitang and the lunchbox. Um I wanted to be part of something, I wanted to blend in. So good up a colour corner because as colony I felt like while other people they were similar class in the food and the lungs of my similar trade at this lama dies, you know, and that that led into you know, being introduced to a cigarette, you know, and, and now I understand it all started in a cigarette, you know, and it escalated, not to the same time in time or Dacha, I used the Dacha, but the funny part in it, Dacha, which at first when I used, as I need it is because I felt like I was not in control, you know, I was hallucinating and hey man, something funny happened to me, something I couldn't describe, but contrary to that, I loved the feeling, you know, because he, he, he gave me a sense of peace and comfort. We have all, and I remember saying to myself, I'm going to my land. But the next day, I remember it was me asking my friends, Did they eat the land? So it was more of, you know, but the, 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 the bad company that you keep shall always be your downfall. And and when I loved the bad company because I felt like they would relate more to me, you know, like other than being going to just get less focus, someone that I never liked them much. When Chanda Jawan and I'm an outcast. You know, and it, it's only now I realized what it, as much as I felt like there was nothing in the had. You know, when I worked the program of Narcotics Anonymous or Alcoholics Anonymous, when they stepped up and step four, you know, where we have to do with our personal inventory, you know, and starting with Mangozati in search of my personal inventory, I realized which I had to go deeper, you know, for my childhood, for my adolescence and my other groups. And I've realized we think like me now, I was an edit before I actually picked up because corners music or business are a like, kai, you know, and those things they left the hole in me. And so the only way I could actually fill up that hole was use a um, mind altering substance. So that's how I started. And um, as far as we see, this is a progressive illness, it doesn't get better, but it gets worse. I started Meta and I graduated as to the same seven in summer mandrax, you know, and a former mandrax was to the same seven in heroin. And I remember, you know, heroin bank here with the Hamilton and the rock, so it's up and down. So I used the heroin and the crack cocaine, you know, but I always thought which I could stop whenever I wanted to, you know, I always thought which I, I, I was in control of this, you know, and I didn't want to accept the fact that the drugs and alcohol had got hold of me, you know, and they were ruling my life, and for the fact that which it's it's not good to be turned on my tracks as a content, but I love the feeling I got from from my track. So that's how I started. I ended up dropping out and and you know um yeah up until um, I realized what I'm doing. Mm, okay, and then it it. it you progress to other substances. Uh, so how long was this singing from it drug your color to the next one and to the other? How long did you take Ama drugs for? Okay. I remember very well which I started at the age of 13. Among the 12 I'm calling a cigarette, and I remember it was towards the end of the year. So I'm not example when I started when when I 13 years, you know, and, and imagine at 37 and I got clean when I was just 30 years of age. 
Mm. Okay. Uh, and then once Kuluma in Dabuti, you didn't have a reason, Uguti, Umubuga from where we in the Lukuling Ayakaya, your parents uh, don't even drink and in the Onirat, but you always liked a wrong company and you also and you felt that they understood you more. And at the same time, as much as you were coming from a warm home, you always felt the void. And when you were taking drugs, you felt that the, a, a cover, lower your void. That's why you, you find yourself But what I, I just want to understand, Uti, what feeling did you get that made you to keep wanting to take them? Saying, Uti, you 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 kept having realize you realize you have a void you kept trying to fill in the void with the drugs was it a nice feeling or did you feel did it make you feel maybe content how was the experience when you were taking ama drugs and keep changing them okay yo i don't wanna lie um at first it was it was nice i i love the feeling of being in total because like i said it gave me a sense of ease and comfort we are both and um, I remember when I was feeling angry, I would use, and all of a sudden I would find my remedy. Yeah, when I'm when I'm sad, in despair, I would use. Yeah, so it's like for me, I found it, it calm. You know that would help me to fix my emotion, man. You know, so I, I also think what addiction has to do. It's it's an emotional disease. Yeah, because that's what propelled me to use. But I truly loved, not like I loved the feeling because. For some reason, I felt like I was now getting to enjoy you, man. So the only time I would actually get to have a relationship with myself is when I was under the influence of yeah, my drugs. So I felt good at first. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yes, because of the relationship that you had and that you really enjoyed them. But what I picked up, you keep saying that addiction is a disease, it's, a, it's an illness. Uh, what do you mean by that? Because mina ngazi guti umuntu tata ma drugs wa watata eno wa ipemela ena ugula ni umuntu ngoba umunyu munte ngati it's a choice umunyu munte ngati au la lady au you you were told not to try them but you try them so when when does it become a disease? How is taking drugs a disease or taking alcohol? Right, I love that. That's a very good question. Why? Because Manga understand that which even Nabantu, they have an obscure way of looking at an edit. They have an obscure way of looking at somebody who has a they don't say in that we have also we have we have like a portion of sale, you know, they don't which channel would actually help me um for my for my addiction. But it's only when I came to understand or rather coming to do a program that was given me and the program that was suggested as one of the things that are going to help me not only to be sober but to maintain my sobriety. To say e, 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 alcoholism or e addiction is a disease, we have, and it's about with disease, guys, we all know what it, it's a chronic disease. It doesn't have a cure, we have, but however, um, recovery is then possible, can be arrested at some point, and then recovery is possible. But what by clarifying, guys, that they had to tell me about the nature of the disease, we have, and about this thing about to as far as how, um, but it, for example, it's in 70 a alcoholism. They would say we have three types of band. We have what we call a social drinker, we have what we call a drunkard, and we have what we call an alcoholic. And they explain it to me nicely to say in, in, um, a social drinker is somebody who puts you to a social events. You know, they are came, you know, with the Christmas present and Christmas party and seventeen, and they don't normally pop out money from their pockets and buy alcohol. They would actually most of the time buy a bunny girl. And and I remember the person who was telling me about the nature of the disease said something so profound. He said, to pay a booty, I'm a social drinker and I know about my group, so we from niggas is six pack. Maybe that person can have only two dumpies. Then it's almost like hey, this is in your car. Yeah, go. And 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 was a hammer nine four, but the only three two, you know. And like my sister, my sister never understood her for the sake of my life. I mean, she would. I remember when you when you drink, she would even I would, I would watch her make pussy wine. She would actually use a wine glass to drink wine. I mean, how do you do that? Hey man, doesn't matter what you put that. But pussy the character thing. I want to understand what. She is a social drinker, you know, then bang tell about to her, but we call it drunkard. Now, a drunkard is somebody who is able to stop without getting any help. 
responsibilities and I can't get alcohol get into my mouth. I most of the numbers are actually because Marafune also share tea and I'm be a and I attend or whatever he has to attend. So I want to have a phone now. Now, as I understand, because I've realized with each other to somebody who can who can stop drinking because they got to no come the way. Then he can't go to a long to them who is only one such. Mama to let you know, Amanda. Imagine what my leg a meeting in Domto and a crash. I would go there and eat a thing but such a black. Who does that? Why do you have to drink for a meeting as a crash? I would do that. Why? Because my whole life is centered around, right, around alcohol. Now, alcoholic, what makes an alcoholic? It, it's, it's not about how many, the, the, it's not about how many, the intake or how much you, you drink. You know, it's not about who you with. It's about in the good when I'm all you can't stop. And that is what makes an alcoholic. You know, and 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 in closure quickly, they never helped me to they didn't tell only my problem through them. They also told me my solution. Which is for the physical part, you know, I have what we call allergic reaction towards alcohol. Mm -hmm. When I take that first drink, my body always feels put more. We are wife and they have what we call defensive mechanism in their body to say we have had enough. The body can't take the poison anymore. And they would stop. For the mental part, they told me what I have what we call an obsession. Now, obsession is nothing else but one idea overcoming all other ideas into contract. Mark Shiza, my mind has only one solution. My mind says my mind says totally have to was over all. You know, so I have only one solution for every problem I encounter. And they said, emotionally, you know, they get to a, the, the hole in the soul, that spiritual malady, whatever. And I'm always full of guilt, shame, and fear. So the only way to get rid of those emotions is for me to have a power greater than me. So you need to understand which alcohol and drugs have become a power greater than me. So I was, it was, it was suggested to which I need to find the power that is more powerful than drugs and alcohol. Mm -hmm. That is the power of my own understanding. Yeah, Uma Nguzwa in the that he needed to have a power greater than you. You spoke about a void that you had a void. You know, when you're growing up, that's why when you're introduced to ama, ama substances, you never said no, and you just clicked. How you find a solution now for the void? Uh, you felt that you could connect more with Umanda when you are using my substances. I suppose if anyone were to experience such a connection with anything, uh, in your case, it was a substance, they would love that. They would love, they would love the company. And then you, you keep graduating to different drugs and more dangerous ones. And alcohol is always, uh, uh, you know, along with the other drugs, you're still drinking at the same time. Um, and then you did mention which you actually did love drugs. They, they were, I mean, uh, uh, it makes sense. They were part of the void. And then later, you 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 need to find something that will replace uh, ama drugs to be able to to But my yeah. question is now, when ye, if we go nandi with ama drugs, if we go pull up what for a second what pushed you? Uh, would, would say, now I don't want to take drugs was it maybe uh, it was causing trouble for you at home or work or what happened? Okay, so in the end, again, we would say, at first, drugs and alcohol became what a solution. Mm -hmm. But as time went on, my solution became a problem. And the funny part would say, it didn't only become a problem to me, but also to my loved ones. Remember, we would say alcoholism and addiction is a family disease. Doesn't only affect me, but about 16 people also get affected. So, because um, Amatrax were never a solution, that's how I perceived them. Amatrax has always been a problem, you know, but I chose to believe with the I a solution. Now, you see, when, when, it, when it went to a point where now I had to lose Umanda in the process, that's when I realized, which, you know what, Manjang attacks a corner. I remember there was a time when I actually looked myself in the mirror and I didn't love the reflection. You know, I, I didn't love the monster that I had created. You understand? So it got to a point where life had become a, life had become a problem and my only solution was that as a result of, of music. I would take, the, I, it would take the whole evening or the whole night if I had to explain 
the hurt that I did, not only inflict to myself, but also mm -hmm. to my loved one. You see, you know, when, it, when it, my figure in the way where um 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 your own mother who been going for nine months, you know, must say one could say I am a man that I am today because of her. So the moons of Kuluma Makama I wonder, Manda, what is it that I've done to God? You know, she said, I look at you and I see a curse. You know, at the Kantiin Lengayen, the Utum Kulukulu, and as the Abin Jagi. You know, so it to a point where my dad would say, no matter the same manager, what you did in a pan and is a Muglashima to me. You know, I remember that day very well. And I even had the resentment toward my dad. I think the outer entirely I'm on there. He's saying, Segamelo Guti, Lele La Paya, and the best young tattoo, Mulashima to me. You know, for me, it felt good. I don't want to say, Peter, the most beautiful young lad, like this is all that. You know, that's, that's what we do to dead bodies. It's Lashima to me. You know, when it came to a point where my younger sister said, because we are safe, we are safe, I sit. And she would say, hey, Yes, Amanda. Sometimes I'm going to call them wish and you would even have to go shiro or feel because I want my family back. Imagine your own sister wishing you for death. Why? Because she also wants her parents back. Now, in a nutshell, I was addicted to alcohol. My parents were addicted to an alcoholic. You see how good it will visual cycle. So they became addicts too, because as I was addicted to a substance, they were addicted to an addict. So no maganjali, my disease involved them. So when I went to her as a result of my using, I would drag them along. You know, because at the end of the day, they stay my blood. Mm. You, you know, Mukaza, it sounds like there was a whole lot of pain that, that came with a you know, you know, to when the more you use the drugs, what figure like was and everyone in your family was affected. Uh, what I want to understand is that when it was affecting other people or in the I suppose your life became unmanageable, and you, you were probably unreliable, and, mm -hmm. and who was maybe somehow danger to others. Mm -hmm. Was it also painful for you when you are taking them? in terms of when you were not enjoying them now you remember they, they used to fill in this void where you felt maybe they're actually not filling in the void mm -hmm. yeah um this stage where i was using not because of i wanted to but because i had to remember i was also trying to fill up that pitless hole we are both and 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 the pain yes it, the pain that I inflicted, especially to my parents. Um, sometimes I would think about it, and at the end of the day, I'm still blood and flesh. I'm human, yeah, as much as I'm working a program that says, do not regret the past, no, we shut the door on them. But it, sometimes you would get uh, a bit nothing. Uh, feel sorry for them, yeah, because. What makes me feel so good in your good with among our internal final army? How would I handle you? You know, so and, and one thing I think you should realize with him addiction is more powerful than good intentions. There was a time where I would, <clears throat> like in Joba, we mother's day, I would maybe if they Sunday and Saturday, I would think to myself, as in Jusuma, when I'm tired, as First thing that I'm going to do when I wake up, I'm just going to wish a happy Mother's Day. But because in addiction, it's more powerful than good intention. Before, because apparently maybe all you are in the you is doing the right. So it's even worse than seeing. So my good intention of just embracing her, say, put me away, and I'll just storm out of the house and have the new seven days. And by the time you go to that house, using, I'm thinking, you know, when you use on my radio, people are talking good about their mothers, but the lingo was the mother's day. And I mean, I'm sitting here thinking, I don't even have a healthy relationship with the person I claim to love so much. So you can imagine what's up on my tracks, they're messing up, up on my emotions, because I was, I was not in the equilibrium. Up on my emotions, now they are messing me up. And I'm not in the direction into it. So that became so painful with the, even the solution. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
Mm. So, Umanza, Utulagandan, how, how did you get help? Interesting. I think I need to say this. So, when I went to rehab, ne, um, I already had a daughter, you know? I think six, 16 days. You know, and anything that we cover, you know, I wonder how did that woman handle state But nevertheless, as in you know, just stick with the questions. So we see she began at 16 days, and I remember this one time my mom phone and let's say, hey man, the panel was a so you know, and I never knew what it really excited, but I was crippled with fear. Remember, as an edit, in the two I um personal responsibility, intellect and responsibility, something that you are not familiar with. So now I'm going to I know I don't know if I should be excited. Because I knew I had a problem with tracks, you know? So imagine the very same mother had to beg me instead of me begging my mother, you know, and you went there spelling and I saw her, I was even afraid, you know. And, and I remember after a week, and a friend made a couple. So I had to go open a new window. Something amazing, something remarkable happened. When I got there, they got sick on the ring, you know, and in the little room, they went to fetch the child. For the first time, Kalumba Bizandesa began a little, you know, and Mangimbam, Ufugi, you know, Ufulina Mesh. You know, and, 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 and I'm looking at her and she's looking back at me, you know, but, you know, what you are, best speeches were said in silence. She mm -hmm. said so much without even uttering a word. You know, it's like she was looking at me and not to be asked, ah, 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 who you baba mlo? We have one suicide lab of two lepo, and I was on the letter lab with the Michi Michela. You know, she, she said so much with her, uh, uh, boy, you better get your shit together. I'm the lama then, you know, and I looked at it and, and, and I was in, you know, that's some paranoid. And I was so wise in chat, but I was so paranoid because I felt like, why are you going to be in You know, and when I left that house, I remember I already made a decision. I said, there is no way I'm going to continue like this. But the recovery, we're doing it for ourselves. Yes, that is so true. Now, mind, I'm sober for myself. But I must say, what I'm done propelled me and gave me every reason to stay so. That was the beginning of my life. Today, only seven years. When I looked at her, I'm thinking, I can't wait. You know, I know what I don't have to think for the future because it's not promised. But God willingly, I'm thinking with the day of number 21, that's one of the things I want to tell you. What you are the reason. Me, then, then, me, on I looked at your eyes and I saw hope. And for me, that's God's way. Wow, Manza, how you had that moment when, yeah, I, I don't know, it just touched my heart how you expressed a, your, your journey on how you actually got to find help. And, and, and you know, and, and it, it's as if Umduana connected with you, did that, like, mm -hmm. why say feel a parrot? We can still do this, we can try again. Uh, like but, but don't give up. Uh, mm -hmm. Wow. Uh, yeah. So you you know in what you are saying, I, what I, what I, what I'm I'm realizing is that for everyone or anyone who is in a hopeless situation, whereas uh, your mom was feeling cursed uh, by your behavior, and your, your 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 dad and your sister, when we're not sure what to wish for every time they they receiving a call, whether they don't know if rather they hear you in hospital or you in jail. Or maybe mm. it's over because they, they didn't see a, a way forward. Not that they wanted for you, but that's how um, think that's how bad things have gone, and that's the pain that they were feeling at the time. Uh, and then basically moved on, and, and, and suddenly there's a change. So what I'm seeing is that Wongkumundu who feels that. Uh, they've been in, 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 in drug addiction or, you know, for, for his courtesy, there is hope. But as you were with what what he so if you who is 
who's hopeless and who doesn't know how to change in below uh, what would make someone change i know i can see now Uti, no one is hopeless uh, honestly but uh, how can you advise someone who, who feel that okay it's very important for me to state in the way what is has played a major role in my teachings. And among Kunmangali Lokaniso, I'm Kunmangali Lokaniso, that is far fetched. But I'm speaking about the truth that was in me. And the Fong Inge and Alapo, there was a corner of this other prominent guy who said to me, Mandra, did you know what Lokaniso has its life of its own? And I didn't understand it, you know, but until you appeal Lokaniso, and Lokaniso has the power and the capability to convince a person. You know, and I thought about it with my, I remember when I, when I came back from seeing my daughter, Bukul Kaniso Pella in me, that was able to convince Bute Lalela boy, when in King Aita Gamiza, and he needed to change this. And if you're not going to change, who's so humble, you know, and it's on Shia Nalunga. So it was the whole time, it was the, the truth in me. And I believe with Kaniso appeal. I'll tell you what. People would actually tell me, and you can use look at yourself, you're iterating. But I, 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 I couldn't just, I've been a call the best, but the truth in me was able to convince me. I have no doubt, I would say, as people, as the individual, we have the truth in us. That tells us in that very small, polite voice to say, you need help. And that's what I did. I acted upon what the small voice was saying to me. He says, I needed help. Now, we need to understand, I have had so many people before, and it's not going to be easy for me to meet them for the night, because I've said it before, and I said it the other year, and the year before that one. So, I had to put actions. And what I did, I went to rehab. And there was no way I could try to get a myself, because I'm a withdrawal and I'm an edit. I'm so scared of pain. So I'm a withdrawal with severe. So I knew which I had to find the rehab. But I'm not, man. And that was a private rehab. I remember saying to myself, and I'm going to ask them what it means. And that's exactly what I did. I put actions towards me wanting to change. That's the most powerful thing. I would say there's a difference between decisions making and acting upon the decisions that one has made. I had made a decision, but I had to pull it action. As much as I'm going to be honest with you, I remember in year I didn't, I, I only had 25 friends, but not even training and I found myself a box back not, you know, and I went there and I begged them, which, you know, I young born in Jan, I really need help. And I remember the management told me, which, Mother, this is a private institution, we can't take it, you know, but I begged them and I begged them. And just when I was about to leave, they called me in the office and said, it's fine, and we're going to give you a chance. No, no, those were the best words I've ever had in many, many years when somebody said, you deserve another chance. And that's why I think I'm still, I'm still sober even today. Why? Because I know exactly that I'm coming from the addiction. And, and, and in my cherish, I, 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 for today, I just can't go back. You know, so Lang Puma Korn was actually preparing me for, for what I am now. You know, I had to reach it up also for me to understand that polite voice. As long as Lang Naman Yama Second Option, then I need a little bit small voice. So I had to be honest with myself. So that's what I'm saying. For Abantu Abatabangu today in a hopeless state, just to be honest with yourself and reach out. You see, but without help, it is too much for us. Sometimes we just have to put the pride aside and say, listen, I'm in danger. I need help. Speak up. Mm. Manta, yes, I, I really like what you said. You said we all have the truth inside of us. And what you are saying to someone now who's still in active addiction, who doesn't know way out, you are saying to them, please awaken the truth inside of you. Awa Connect and that's what will uh, will save you. I've seen in, in how when you are sharing, you talk a lot about putting action and being open minded and, and just in a willingness, uh, your coins are the next right thing. Uh, how you put the effort in, in actually not just making the decision, 
but putting a, a action into what you had decided right. to do when right. the truth inside of you uh, was awakened. So, umanda niyazi kuti njenga manje since a kwa film tuwa na a a a sixteen days now until na seven years. Yeah. So, uh, are you saying to me that you you haven't drank? You are not doing any drugs? Tell me and tell me what do you do? Uh, what are you doing for a living? Because I know you have so much passion. Uh, you see the abani abani uh, that are suffering with uh, addiction. Okay, um, I need to be honest. When I listen to this, I'm going to cover a bunch of But I'm a five pillars. You know, this is again. And for the fact that we see in the community pillar, we should go like we need to get caught. You know, because it has been tested that pillar. And the other thing is, we see it solid. So people have actually been leaning on that pillar for many years. And 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 I guess it, it has never let them down. So I decided that with out in your mind, I will have a pillar about Kuluma now, I find, you know? And those pillars, you know, it didn't only help me to stay sober, but most importantly to, not only to be sober, but most important to stay sober. We need to understand that anyone can be sober, but not anyone can stay sober. Yes. that the person needs to take in order for them to maintain their sobriety. And God knows, that's what I believe. Without God, for me, speaking of my own personal experience, without God, I don't think we can learn God. You know, um, Without the power greater than me, without the power greater than Twala, the Matrax, without the power greater than other people, I didn't think it was over long call. Yeah. I had to understand, I had to find the God of my own understanding. And then the nicest part, which when I speak of God, and um, I do not have to think of the guy from other fourth dimension, on a Mapigo, Amapulu, Omlu, Mokogene, Batat, and the Iron Rod. You know, when I think of God, I just have to think of the good or the direction, the GOD. And it made perfect sense, which as in Minavella was running short of that good or the direction. There was no way you would have to decide the senior of the Marine direction, let alone the older one, you know? So I had to find the God. I had to find a person who is, or a spirit that is going to do for me what I could not do for myself. I couldn't stay sober for the sake of my life, but I had the good or the direction. And that very same good or the direction helped me not only to be sober, but to stay sober. The second one would be, I'm um, going to, a, a, you know, a fellowship where there are people who have the very same disease or the very same problem that I have. Why? Because they won't judge me. In fact, they're going to love me and tolerate me. And the third one would be having is on you know, somebody who have traveled the journey before and umuntu recover, you know, just to keep it short. And any angle, it's the program. So the program that I was given is Lugi, yeah, it's Lugan, but you can divide it into three. You know, well, it's not about this like in a relationship and then you know, Jehovah and the same call is his and the man it's in call is his Whether Allah, whether Buddha, no more Shem, no more Khadiani, it doesn't matter. Why? Because we are all connected with spirituality, not with the religion. So the fellowship, I mean, the program helped me with under the Tolu Ukhelwani Obu Shano Jehovah, and it also helped me with Tolu Ukhelwani Nambi. This is the way in which the good to with Tolu Ukhelwani and Abanya Bantu, and the book that I wrote in Kono Mentena won't get out my relationship. You know, and the last one would be service. I'm doing a lot of service, man. The service is nothing else but giving back that which was given to me free, you know, giving me hope, giving me strength, and, you know, giving a band to that chance to say this really does work. Well, you know, mm -hmm. so we say this is helping the next person. I think I have a passion for it. You know, I have a I can think that this I'm not the general words which God is using me. I'm his instrument to help his fellows, you know. Oh, I work in a rehab center manager, and I felt like I'm so sorry to open my tracks because it was just using drugs that I found the peoples. So imagine, how many of you have told them about the city? How many of you have told them about the country? How many of you have told them about the school? I mean, I had to find myself by doing drugs and alcohol. So I think I'm totally doing it. Wow. Yeah. 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 Y
Wow. Eh, uh, be honest, to be open. I really liked what you said uh, about the truth that lives within us. I want to live like that, or connect and always awaken the truth inside of me. Uh, but what inspires me most and what I, I really love about, you, about your story is that a clean what was supposed to, what was meant for evil in your life, which was a matter of was supposed to be the end of you. Uh, you took an opportunity to use that to unveil the purpose in your life. Mind you, you enjoy helping other editors, right. you enjoying uh, to be of service, if you're available uh, as you've made yourself available today. Next time, I want to have another chat with you, honestly, because you spoke about ama pillars only get one exercise every day, which mm -hmm. I really think it's important. But mm -hmm. in your time, you learn with school men. Unkazel, we think what is what is fellowship? How does God fit in in this thing of of anyone's of of individuals understanding? Mm -hmm. uh, how how do meetings help you? We can respond. What is that so that uh, other people may understand that? Uh, at the end of the day, look up conversations is about sending a solution uh, so that people that have a family member or the person who's still in drugs uh, can find help. So thank you so much for being with us today. Uh,